Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be going over how you can create a foil invitation on Zazzle. I want to start this video a little bit differently. We're going to start it off in ChatGPT. I've asked ChatGPT to give me a list of 50 ideas of words to put on the front of a birthday invitation. Each idea should be one to four words in length. Celebrate with us, party time, you're invited, let's celebrate, birthday bash, join the fun, cake and fun, make a wish, dot dot dot. There's lots more. You are welcome to use these if you want. Take a screenshot and you can use these. I am going to go with party time. And now I'm in Canva and I have a five inch by seven inch canvas artboard. And I am going to add the words party time. But I don't like this font. So I have a bunch of fonts already loaded into my Canva from Creative Fab Fabrica, I think it's actually pronounced. I think I've been pronouncing it wrong for like two years, three years now. <laughs> um, I'll just show you really quickly. So with Creative Fabrica, um, they actually have tons and tons and tons of fonts. It's unreal. And I love grabbing fonts from here. There's just the design um, possibilities with all these fonts is limitless. So um, let's try and find a fun party font. I kind of like this one could be good. I think this one could be cool. So let's download both of these and jump back over into Canva and upload those fonts. Okay, let's see. Oops. Let's see how these are going to look with either one of those fonts. Do to do, do. Where are they? Uploaded fonts. We had party. That one's cute. And then that's more childish though. So I don't know. I feel like the foil is more like I think of older, maybe more sophisticated a little bit, whereas this font is a little bit immature. So what was the other one called? It was called Christmas Party. Mm, I don't know how those all look. Maybe I might just go with that first. Well, let's try. Party time. That's kind of cute. And then let's try again one with the chic regular font that we had. Just feels a little bit like hard on the eyes to me. But let's give it a try. Okay, now let's download both of these as transparent PNGs. Now let's jump into Zazzle. So I've got foil invitations here, and then you can choose between gold, um, silver, and bronze, or rose gold, sorry. So I'm going to choose the gold, I think. And we have the layers. On the first layer here, it says front foil. That's where everything you put on here is going to be in foil. So let's try this party time. Let's try this one. Okay, so now we have a couple of options about how we want the foil, how it's going to look. Stylize your image or photo. Depending on the filter you choose, your image will appear differently. And then select contrast because there's options in here to select as well, right? So choose a contrast level that best depicts the colors and objects of your design. This scale will determine how light or dark the different colors in your original image appear. 
So I have just a solid black design, so it's not going to really make too much of a difference. So let's just do that one. And now you can see that this is foil on here. Hey, I just wanted to take a quick second to say that if you have any questions about the Zazzle platform, anything that you're struggling to figure out, specifically technical issues, please let me know in the comments below and I will try and make a video to help you out. That's it, back to the tutorial. So now we've got, I actually kind of like that too. I think it looks pretty good. But I do really like how the gold looks on the black. I've noticed that a lot of other designers are doing that and I think that looks so good. Oops. So now we've got our foil and let's make the back black as well. Now, do we want anything else in foil on the front or the rest do we want it as white font? It's totally up to you. And this is where your text templates are gonna come in. So, I think we'll have the front say, you were invited. And we'll have it white. And definitely not that font. You were invited. Um, okay, let's try a different font. I do like that, like Futura font. Do we like that? You're invited. Eh, maybe all caps. You're invited. And then a little bit of spacing. And then let's bring it down to like 18. And then we might want to do any Amy's um, 45th birthday. I guess probably want to put two. But maybe we want this one on the front as foil. You're invited to Amy's 45th birthday. <clears throat> and then let's get the detail. And let's make it like size 15, probably. Probably smaller. Uh, 8 p.m. Oh my goodness. 8 p.m. Monday, January 12th, 20XX. And then we want one, two, three, four, birthday, avenue, I don't know, New York, New York. Yeah, we definitely want that way smaller. RSVP to Amy by uh, January. 1, 20XX, uh, 555, 555, 555. How does that look? That looks pretty good. Okay, I'd like to make these a little bit smaller. And then we want to make I feel like, yeah, this one can come down and I feel like it can be a little bit bigger. There's no bold for this one, hey? Eh? Oh, we've got medium. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I like that. I think that we're going to fix placements a little bit. Make sure this is centered.
How's that looking? That looks pretty good. I feel like the year invited two could be a little bit smaller. Party time. You're invited to Amy's 45th birthday. 8 p.m. Monday, January 12th, 20 whatever. 1234 Birthday Avenue, New York, New York. And then, oh, the only other thing to do is make sure that this goes all the way to either edge, just in case whoever it is has a really long name. And then we need to start making our templates. So, uh, name, oh, event, and then let's go to the front and get these, um, the details, party details, and RSVP. So the only other thing I want to check is like be really sure about the spacing between everything that we're like happy with it. I might move this one up oh, just a touch. Oh, it's actually more than one. There you go. That's how you make a foil invitation. It's pretty simple. I mean, the really the only thing to know, the only thing that's different is that you have that extra layer for the foil at the on your, in your layers tab. The most important thing that we need to know is how to be able to sell this product. And it's really simple. All you need to do is go down to the envelopes section on the right hand sidebar and select white or select an envelope type. And white seems to be the only option available and then you can sell the product. Other than that, it's pretty simple. I hope that this was helpful for you. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, please give the video a like if you learned something today and be sure to subscribe for more Zazzle tips. Bye.